Hi, I'm Dan and I'm a Brit living in Canada and welcome to the first ever edition of What's New Wednesday where I will take a look at a different aspect of Canadian life through the eyes of a foreigner. So this week I thought I'd take you around a typical Canadian grocery store both to show you what it's like and also highlight some of the differences between supermarkets in Canada and supermarkets in the UK. So the supermarket we're going to look around this week is Fortino's, which is owned by the Canadian supermarket giant Loblaws. All right, so here we are at Fortino's on a freezing cold Saturday in February. And it being February, you can see there's still snow covering all the stuff that's outside. Bags of salt and wood are still covered in snow. So the entrance way that looks very nice and uh, Easter's coming up. So huge Easter display right inside the entrance. Flowers, a separate, um, uh, separate kind of florist inside the store. Hot food counter. This is not for the cafe, this is just takeaway hot food. One thing you'll notice is the number of different counters. It's just coffee, you can actually pay $2.99 and get a bag of coffee, fill it up yourself. Food to go section, pies, quiches, um, tons of different types of soups. And uh, we got some... Uh, ready meals here which is well, I can say ready meals kind of posh ready meals if you like turkey meatballs in sauce got some uh, various different types of chicken including wings wings are hugely popular in North America especially in this part of Canada sushi I guess this also classes as food to go including California rolls which don't sound very Japanese and aren't trolleys or carts as they would be called here look very different to what Brits will recognize as a supermarket trolley and uh, this supermarket in particular actually exits into a shopping mall, which again is something that's kind of fairly unusual. In the UK, most supermarkets would be sort of standalone. I just wanted to show you the number of different counters, a whole noodle bar in the middle there. Uh, the one at the back there does pizzas. On the left, it's more hot food. The bread, again, bread slices are much smaller height-wise than used to in the UK. More what Brits would recognize when they go on holiday to Spain or a Mediterranean country. I'm gonna shut up and just let you look at these amazing cakes. Another thing you see in North American supermarkets you wouldn't necessarily see in the UK is the huge variety of smoked meat, cured meat, dried meat. Much bigger variety than I remember. And look at the amount of olives that they have. I mean, I don't know why you need this many kind of olives, but I guess if you like olives, this is kind of heaven for you because so many different varieties. Cheese. First cheese display, cheese is spread out all over the uh, supermarket in Fortino's, no idea why, that's number two. That's number three, this cheese is so dangerous it's actually behind a glass screen. Most of this cheese is Eastern European, but there's also some British cheese, some Wensleydale, and some good old Lancashire cheese. Bacon, we have to talk about bacon. This being North America again, most bacon is streaky bacon, that's the predominant kind of bacon sold over here. But I also discovered something called uh, pea meal bacon, which I had never heard of before. Let me know what that is in the comments if you know what it is. Um, and this is one of the few supermarkets where you can actually get British style back bacon, although it is just uh, medallions rather than full rashers. Tons and tons of different types of hot dog sausage. In the UK, you probably know hot dog sausages coming out of a tin and looking rather pathetic. Quite busy, as you can see, because it was filmed on a Saturday morning. Um, but, you know, the kind of meat section, chilled meat section, looks just the same as Brits will recognise from supermarkets in the UK. One thing you won't find any of, though, is lamb, because lamb is not big over here. If you do find lamb, it tends to be frozen. You can see the sausages also look different from what, how they look typically in the UK. These ones are pretty big, but they also have these smaller style breakfast sausages. Amazing cheese here. Anyone who says they don't have good cheese in North America is lying. And what they do is tend to put these kind of products that accompany the cheese right next to it, which is quite helpful. And the good old ticket machine. And again, just wanted to show you the huge variety of smoked and dried and cured meats and sausages. Yeah, and this is not something that I remember as being part of typical supermarkets in the UK. Never seem to see anybody at the fish stand, but it's there. No, I don't want my food to still look at me, thank you. You can get live lobsters in supermarkets in Canada. That is very common, especially on the East Coast in uh, Nova Scotia. Another thing that Fortino's does very well is the fruit and veg selection. Very well presented, very nicely laid out, very inviting looking section. A whole bar of organic mushrooms, personally, I would not eat them. I find mushrooms disgusting, but if you are a fan, 
and Fortino's is clearly the place to be. They also have a huge natural food and health food section, although one thing that tends to surprise me is that they tend to find products in it that don't really match that description, so Brits will be very familiar with fever tree mixers such as uh, tonic water and ginger ale and I don't know, are they any healthier than regular um, regular mixers? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Same with these kettle chips, I are they healthier than regular chips or crisps? Personally, I wouldn't have thought so. Brits will clearly recognise Tetley Tea. Orange Pico is the variety that I'm told is the most popular in Canada. Oh look, two dollars off. Another thing that's different about Canada is that eggs are kept in the fridge uh, in the supermarkets rather than on the shelf, which they always would be in a UK supermarket. Grocery aisles, exactly what you'd expect, look just the same as in a British supermarket, but this aisle in particular has the British section. So what have we got? Gravy. HP sauce, Sarsons vinegar, the stuff you get on the British section in Canadian supermarkets is so random. So we got a bunch of marmalades and jams, Branston pickle, two varieties, although you'll note it does actually have to say on the front that it is a relish slash condiment. I guess North Americans would not be familiar with the product, so it's helpful to add that. Free bentos pies, ambrosia custard, this is all stuff I have to tell you that um, I do not miss terribly and would not pay these prices for. Home pride, cooking sauces, pickle lily, no thank you, pickled onions, haggis in a tin, because why not? Well there's probably some good reasons why not. Uh, Taylors of Harrogate tea, that's not actually not a bad price, good old PG tips tea as well. Heinz beans, and you'll notice that these are definitely the British version because beans are spelt wrong with a Z instead of an S. On the Canadian tins it has the S. More soups, peas. One thing the UK does better than anyone else in the world is biscuits. Biscuits from the UK are amazing. Sometimes I do buy them from the British section just because nothing else really like it in the world. So a bunch of other random biscuits, shortbread, crackers, a decent selection of sweets and chocolate, kind of meh as far as I'm concerned because I'm not really a, a sweet tooth kind of person. Um, but yeah, pretty good selection there, pretty good haul. Eccles cakes, of course. Of course you want Eccles cakes. Now I wanted to show you the booze simply because selling booze in supermarkets in Canada, especially in Ontario, is still a relatively new thing. It's only been going for sort of a few years. Uh, most beer and wine in Canada has to be bought, in Ontario, has to be bought at the LCBO. This is the rather pathetic looking reduced to clear section. That's all there is of it. One trolley. Clothing, because clothing of course is a staple at supermarkets these days. Checkouts, which look just the same as they do in the UK, except you'll note that the poor lady in yellow is standing. Cashiers have to stand. Oh look, more cheese. So that's it for this week's episode of What's New Wednesday, and I hope you enjoyed that look around Fortino's. Uh, if you have any questions about life in Canada, or supermarkets in Canada, or anything to do with Canada from the perspective of a foreigner, then please do leave a comment. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, tell your friends, uh, or tell your enemies. If you hated the video, then tell your enemies. It's the perfect thing to send to your enemies. Anyway, just the point is, just tell somebody. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon.